Hi guys, welcome to Heartlight Tarot. For my returning viewers, welcome back. For my new viewers, um, I am a tarot reader and an aspiring astrologer. I'm trying to learn astrology to combine with the tarot so I can give you guys a more predictive forecast. So if that's something that you're interested in, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell. I don't want you to miss my upcoming readings. I post bi-weekly readings. And now, since the love readings took off, I'm really contemplating making bi-weekly bi -weekly readings for the love as well. So um, I'm going to be doing my first full reading this month as well. And I'm going to be uploading my website pretty soon so you guys can check me out even further. If that's what you're interested in, please hit that notification bell. Thank you for being here. Um, a little bit of astrology for the sign of Gemini. Considering I am a Gemini rising myself, this um, energy is going to be geared more towards Gen Gemini rising. Um, it does um, apply to Gemini suns as well, but it's going to be more geared towards your career. Um, but for Geminis, it's just basically everything. So, um, yeah, with that being said, I am done shuffling. We have the chariot. Okay, Cancer energy really pushing past obstacles, okay? That's something that you're going to be doing right now. Maybe that's in regards to um, your higher knowledge. Uh, a little bit of astrology for you guys. Pluto is moving into the sign of Aquarius when this reading is going to be um, posted around the same time. On January 20th, Pluto moves into the sign of Aquarius at this, on the same day. Uh, the sun moves into Aquarius as well as um, we're no longer going to be in the Mercury retrograde shadow. So things are going to be feeling different, okay? Pluto is the planet of transformation. It's literally changing everything, okay? Um, so in Aquarius rules your ninth house of higher knowledge, long distance travel, um, learning from different cultures, um, your religion, your spiritual beliefs, okay? And it's going to be making a trine, which is a very positive aspect to um, your first house, which is, you know, the, your rising sign, your Gemini. Um, and it's also going to be trining your fifth house of passions and entrepreneurship, children, uh, what, what it is that really just really drives you and makes you excited, you know, behind, you know, your day-to-day -day grind. So you're going to be feeling a lot of transformation um, in those areas, especially in your knowledge, uh, higher knowledge and your religion and spiritual beliefs. And maybe you're going to be working abroad or thinking about moving to another country. You know, so a lot of excitement that's happening for you, Geminis. Um, and I see that in your cards, too, because we have the chariot here. It is clarified with the eight of pentacles. You're really working hard on something. And you find yourself working really hard on the, something. Um, and it's not easy for you, but it, you see it coming along, if that makes sense. Um, so you're pushing past any kind of obstacles in regards to it, okay? You're really figuring out the best route of action to kind of make this dream of yours come true. Alright, so the chariot here, it's clarified with the Eight of Pentacles. I'm going to take a quick drink of water. Alright, so he's pushing past obstacles. He's on an adventure, he's going somewhere. He could clearly be going the other way, right? To his castle because he really does look fancy doesn't he <laughs> like he could live there but he's not going there he's going somewhere else he has a mission and that's what you're doing and with the eight of pentacles you're working on one thing and you're working on making it magic and you're, you're working on making it tangible and you're starting to see results and because of that it's giving you that drive and that fuel to continue like this chariot here to push back past anything that's getting in your way because you're starting to see results. Your hard work is paying off. Okay, so in your recent past, you have the Nine of Pentacles clarified with the Nine of Pentacles. I didn't even see that. I saw the Nine of Pentacles, but I didn't realize that it was clarified with the Nine of Pentacles. That is crazy, Gemini. Crazy good. Crazy good. Okay, so in your recent past, this is really how you wanted to feel, okay? This is where you want to be. You're doing the inner work so you can feel abundant on the inside and it's showing on the outside and it's going to be something that's permanent, okay? Because these grapes are going to be growing a long time for you to run that winery successfully. Maybe you are running a winery and that's something that you wanted to feel. You wanted to feel like this is something that you can pass down to your family, it's clarified with the Nine of Pentacles, so abundance and 
building something permanent for yourself, I'm hearing. I'm feeling like you're working on your reputation and what it is that you want to be seen at and as in the world. You're really doing the work and it's showing up and you're starting to feel that way. And that's how you felt in the recent past. But in order for you to get to this Nine of Pentacles energy, you really had to push past obstacles and work really hard. Keep your head down and focus. And that's what you're doing right now because you have a goal. You have a goal and it's starting to show its results, okay? In your near future, you have the King of Wands and it's clarified with the Page of Swords. So the King of Wands, he can manifest anything, okay? He is the boss and people trust him to make things happen, okay? He can run a whole colony just from his chair. Not that he's lazy. He gets up and he does things. He is fire and fire, wants mean fire and fire means action. So maybe you're dealing with Leo Sagittarius or Aries in your life. Maybe that person is somebody that you are looking up to, you are learning from. Maybe this is, this is the type of energy you're trying to get to. You want that kingdom, that kingship, that that you know you want to build a colony you want to start something of your own apart from what you've been used to with the page of swords it's a brand new studiousness okay you want people to learn from you maybe you want to be a teacher you want to teach people what it is that you're doing all right so the page of swords is a student somebody that's curious somebody that has the mental capacity to learn okay take things in this is a very gemini energy okay because as Geminis, we have to learn to survive, okay? We have to learn because we feel like that's just a part of life. It helps us It helps us thrive, okay? And so I feel like this is like who you want to be. You want to always be learning and keep renewing yourself so that you can maintain that kingdom status. Or maybe you just want to teach people. You want to be somebody that this person, these people, anybody okay can look up to you want to create a name for yourself is what i'm feeling with this energy okay i'm going to get you guys a unshakable inner peace oracle card for the sign of gemini for january 20th through january 31st if you haven't yet guys i posted my first love readings for all the signs in the video list and they really took off um, and so I'm really contemplating making bi-weekly love readings. If that's something you're interested in, let me know in the comment box below. Um, also, the New Year's readings are up as well, okay? I'm going to get you guys an Unshakable Inner Peace Oracle card. You guys got 28. It says, don't run from the darkness and break your embrace your shadow side. With what aspect of yourself have you been afraid to look at or address i feel like in order to get this abundance that you you are seeking you're doing the work properly i feel like maybe you just need to embrace your darkness and your shadow side or maybe that's something that you are doing and because you are doing that and kind of embracing all sides of yourself it's showing intangible results on the outside because you no longer are chained to your thoughts you're accepting yourself for how you are okay i'm gonna read about it for you if i can find my book oh here it is all right so number 28 When we go on a spiritual growth journey, we can easily fall into the trap of thinking life is supposed to be easy, especially when we are doing the work. We believe that if we are not happy and joyful 100% of the time, we are doing something wrong. But true fulfillment comes with living all aspects of your life. Highs and lows, peaks and valleys, light and dark. Darkness is not something to run from. It's only unhealed emotions that need more love. Embrace your shadow side, the unhealed wounds from your past, childhood traumas, unresolved anger, and unprocessed fear, and work to accept the pieces of you that you despise. Only then can real transformation take hold. True peace comes from acceptance and seeing all situations with love. A big part of any personal growth journey is coming face to face with your deepest insecurities and fears. This is called the work. Many of us don't do the work because, well, it's work. It is hard and painful and it feels impossible to understand, but when we do the inner work, often the miracle happens 
We heal, we grow, and we transform. True transformation happens when we look at the pieces of ourselves we have been hiding from. So maybe that is something that you're doing along with working hard on the outside. Or maybe you are just working on your inner your inner strength and it's showing in you know your work on the outside maybe your spirituality is changing and you're just being able to open up to new realms of acceptance and understanding right with the pluto being in your ninth house so i think that's a very beautiful energy it's not easy to do the work right it's not easy to do that type of work when you do you're not chained to your past anymore you're not chained to the negative thoughts because you're aware of them right you're not chained to all the bad things that you think of yourself because you are aware of them and you're working through them and maybe that's what you're doing right now in order to achieve that success maybe that's the last piece of your puzzle um gemini and i wish you all the luck i'm going to get you guys a advice card for january 20th through the rest of the month if you haven't yet liked my video, subscribe to my channel. Six of Cups, really hanging out with your kids more. Maybe with that shrine to your fifth house of children, you might be playing with your children more and just being more playful. Uh, maybe visiting places. Uh, maybe that's what it is. Maybe the spiritual awakening that you're having with that Pluto being in your ninth house. Maybe you're going back to a foreign land. Well, not foreign. I'm sorry. You're going back to a... It's foreign for where you are now is what I'm saying. Um, maybe you're going back to where you grew up, okay? And you're going to relive some memories. And it's going to really um, bring out your inner child. And it's going to make you remember what it was like to be a kid. And, and maybe you just need to do that to embrace that shadow side. And just kind of go back and accept the old you, right? In order to love yourself and to bring yourself more acceptance. We have the Knight of Wands here traveling, the card of travel. So I really do feel like with this Pluto being Aquarius, you're going to really focus on taking more more uh, trips to different countries. Or maybe you're going to start out small and do whatever it is that you can. Take you and your family or kids. Um, people that really uh, mean something to you. And um, with the Knight of Wands too, he doesn't necessarily have a point to where he's going. He just enjoys everything okay he's got a very 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 positive mindset of being on an adventure just making sure that he's trying to keep his head on straight and and you know learn what he can while he can so i feel like that's the energy what you're going to be feeling here um in the next you know however many years while pluto is in the sign of aquarius so um yeah, I just feel like there's going to be a lot of things changing for you in a very positive light, okay? Um, with that being said, I hope that you guys have a rest, the great rest of January. And I also am going to be posting Full Moon and Leo readings soon. Um, that's coming up on the 26th, so I don't want you to miss that. Hit the notification bell. Share my channel if you could. I would really appreciate it. Just shows me that you support my work. It'll help the channel grow. And um, take care. Bye, Gemini.